let's talk about tolerances of profile. Profile tolerances are used to define a tolerance zone to control form or a combination of size, form, orientation, and location of a feature relative to a true profile. Depending on the design requirements, profile tolerances may or may not be related to datums. So what this means, profile tolerances can do a lot of things. They can 100% take the place of form tolerances and orientation tolerances. They can do similar things to location tolerances but what they can't do is give you the MMC and LMC concept to make parts easier to produce. The reason form tolerances and orientation tolerances still exist is because they're easier to read on a drawing. So when you see a flatness, you know exactly what you're looking at. You see perpendicularity, you know what you're dealing with. With profile, you have to look twice. So with profile tolerances, it depends how many datum references you have in the feature control frame. So you could figure it out, but typically if it's just an orientation or just a form tolerance, those get used instead of using profile to do the same thing. So here's an example of a profile tolerance masquerading as a form tolerance and an orientation tolerance. So over on the left, we have a flatness that qualifies this datum A. And it just means that this surface is checked individually by itself to make sure the surface is between two parallel planes that are 10 thou apart. There's no requirement for it to be parallel or perpendicular to anything else by itself. That's just a single check. Same thing when we go over here profile of 10 thou. If you notice, there's no datum reference with this profile. Again, it's attached to an extension line that goes to a datum. This qualifies this bottom surface. The inspection is the exact same. Two parallel planes, 10 thou apart, no relation to any other uh, portion of the part for that particular check. Now, if we go back up here, We've got a, a common site, an orientation tolerance to a perpendicular uh, sur surface here. 10 thou to datum A. So we assume, because there are no angles on the drawing, that this is a 90 degree angle between here and here. Datum A is already qualified. We got 10 thou. So this surface has two parallel planes that are 10 thou apart. They're allowed to move as long as they're perpendicular to A this 20 thou each direction, right? So we can have a little bit of size difference, but they've always got to be perpendicular to A within 10 thou. Now we come over here, we've got a profile, 10 thou to A. It means the exact same thing because this is a not a basic dimension, this does not control, this profile tolerance does not control the location. The location of this surface is controlled with this size dimension. So all this does, just like the perpendicularity tolerance, two parallel planes that are perpendicular to A, the surface has to fall between those planes, but that whole surface could move uh, 20 thou each way, as long as it doesn't violate the boundary of perfect form. There's two kinds of profile. There's profile of a surface, which is the, the arc with the line under it, and then profile of a line, which is just the arc symbol looks like a rainbow. They can be used separately or together. Profile of a surface is a 3D tolerance zone. So similar to how flatness is two parallel planes over a surface, profile of a surface applied to a flat surface does the exact same thing. Profile of a line does the same thing as a straightness tolerance would do if applied to a surface. Only the tolerance applies between parallel lines, so it gets checked in individual locations. What profile gives you that 
flatness doesn't is that profile will follow the features shape, which is known as the true profile. The true profile is almost always defined with basic dimensions. In the newer standard, that's a requirement. In the older standard, you would sometimes see a surface, like a flat surface, defined with plus or minus dimensions with a profile tolerance. I'll talk a little bit about the difference between a profile tolerance attached to a surface with a plus or minus tolerance and with a basic dimension, because they mean slightly different things. Unless otherwise specified, a profile tolerance applies equally on either side of the true profile, so the, the shape of the part that it's applying to. So if it's a 20 thou profile, you have 10 thousandths on either side of that part surface. Now there are ways to have a unilateral tolerance where you have 20 thou on one side and zero on the other, or even a unequal bilateral tolerance where say you have five thou on one side and 15 thou on the other. And the new version of the standard that information is in the feature control frame. It will be, it will show up as a U with a circle around it. That lets you know if you have an unequally disposed tolerance zone. If that's not there, it's an equal tolerance zone every time. In the older versions of the standard, it wasn't like that. You had to look at the leader line and the part surface, there would be a, a dotted line indicating whether that tolerance applied equally or bilaterally. Now they've done away with that because it makes it confusing and they want the feature control frame to contain all the information that you need to interpret that tolerance. The surface of the actual produced part can lie anywhere within the profile tolerance band. So it's, if it's a profile of 20 thou, you can have abrupt surface variations. You can have steps in the part, and that's totally fine, unless otherwise specified on the drawing somewhere. Could be a note that says all steps need to be blended, but if it's just a tolerance, that's, you can have abrupt changes in the actual part. Profile tolerances extend to abrupt changes in the part's geometry. It follows tangential curves. So if it follows to an abrupt variation, there's a different, people have different ideas of what an abrupt variation is. So if it's unclear, there'll be a between symbol under the feature control frame and two arbitrarily cho chosen letters. And then notes will indicate on which part of the part the profile tolerance applies. If the profile goes all the way around a feature, there's a circle around the neck of the leader line that indicates an all around profile tolerance. This is common for slots and pockets and the outside of a part. If it's got two circles, around the neck of the leader, it indicates it's an all over profile. So if it's a cube, it covers all six sides of that object. Profile tolerances extend to the boundary lines of sharp features. So if you have a, a square corner, that, profile, that tolerance zone, they meet at a 90 degree angle. So you could have a rounded corner or a sharp corner and it's up to the drawing to specify if that's allowed or not. But again, we go back to the whatever is in between the, uh, the profile boundaries is going to be okay. Profile tolerances apply normal or perpendicular to the true profile at all points along the profile. The boundaries of the tolerant zone follow the geometric shape of the true profile. Now remember the true profile is just the shape of the part or the feature that you care about as specified on the drawing. So let's chat about the feature control frame of a profile tolerance. The first thing we'll have, the geometric characteristic symbol, 
is either profile of a surface, this one, or profile of a line, which is just the arc with no horizontal piece. We're never going to have a diameter symbol in the tolerance block because profile tolerances apply to surfaces, never to cylinders or center planes. It's the surface of the part. If a profile applies to a hole, it refers to the surface of the hole, not the actual, not the actual mating envelope of the hole. Our next element, we will never have an MMC or an LMC in with the tolerance. Profile tolerances always apply regardless of feature size. So we can get no benefit from the MMC or the LMC concept with profile. Our next area are datum feature references. are very, very important for understanding what the profile tolerance means. If your profile tolerance does not have any datum feature references, it is essentially a form tolerance. It can, unlike form, it can control coplanarity between surfaces. Our next is a profile tolerance with one datum feature reference. This is typically going to be a profile used like an orientation tolerance. So you won't have location with this particular setup for the most part. And our next, this is probably the most common you'll see out there, You'll have three datum references. So for a planar part, a square part, primary, secondary, tertiary, this would control size, form, location, and orientation of whatever surface it applies to. In the datum feature references, you can have an MMC modifier because that's it's uh, modifying how you actually inspect the part. You're not getting any bonus tolerance. You just get datum shift. Here's an example of profile masquerading as a form tolerance. I have a block. I've got a plus or minus size dimension and a profile of a surface. The 10 thou with no datum reference. There's no datums on this part. This is doing the exact same thing as a flatness tolerance would. The boundary of perfect form applies here. The part can be no bigger than 10.02, no smaller than 0.98. The profile tolerance has to be in that 40 thou tolerance zone that the limits of size set, but the surface has to lie between two parallel planes that are 10 thou apart in that size tolerance. There's no extra checks because it's a profile. It can be checked the exact same way as a flatness tolerance would when it's used in this case. Our next example is profile controlling orientation. And since it controls orientation, it's also going to control form. If something is parallel, its flatness is within that parallelism tolerance because you have two parallel planes parallel to something else. So here we have datum A, it's this top surface. We have a plus or minus tolerance, so we have the limits of size to, to deal with. A profile tolerance, 10 thou, in reference to datum A. Now we have to get it from context from the drawing. We see this surface, this surface, there's no angles anywhere on this drawing, so we assume they're parallel, they're zero degrees apart. So this will become essentially a parallelism tolerance. Now, if there were multiple surfaces on the bottom of this part, this profile would also control coplanarity where parallelism cannot control for coplanarity. All of the surfaces would be parallel to the datum, but not coplanar to each other. In this case, that doesn't matter at all this would get checked exactly like parallelism. There's no difference in the actual inspection for this particular use. Now, it's important that this is a plus or minus dimension. A next example, if this is a basic dimension, we have something else going on. So in this, this example, we're only working in one dimension, so there's only gonna be one datum reference here. But we notice that there's no plus or minus dimension. 
we have to be able to locate this surface to something. So we've got datum A, one, and then the profile. This profile, the true profile, is this line right here, one inch away from A. The 10 thou is centered on that true profile. The bottom, the surface of that part has to be within that 10 thou. So this has a lot less tolerance than the previous one where this was a plus or minus. This is controlling the location of the surface relative to A, the parallelism relative to A, also the form, because you have those two parallel planes, 10 thou apart, that the surface of the part has to lie in. Now there are techniques we can stack these profiles on top of each other so we can allow more room for this to move around, that bottom surface. In this case, this is a, a pretty tight tolerance compared to the previous version. Let's talk about the limits of application. There's a couple ways to show this on a drawing and a couple ways it can be interpreted, right? So the first are between noted limits. If we want a tolerance to go from here through this over here, we could put three separate feature control frames, each pointing, one pointing this surface, one this surface, one this surface, or we can use the between noted limits. I've got a leader line with the letter, leader line with the letter pointing to the end of the limits. I've got a feature control frame pointed to the surface of interest, and below the feature control frame are those two letters with the between symbol right in the middle. This indicates that our tolerance of 10 thou goes from here all the way through here to here. Now, in combination with that, it's not uncommon to see an all around symbol, which is this one right here. It's just got a circle around the leader. I've got one up here for an example. So this points to that surface. So it's going all around that part. But if you notice, Below the feature control frame, it says, except as noted. So this tolerance would take precedence for this area. This tolerance would go from here all the way up here. Now there's a lot of different ways to do it, but watch out for that except as noted. Sometimes you'll see several profile tolerances applied to seemingly the exact same place on the part. The last is our all over symbol. This is a, a 3D symbol, so it would apply to the surfaces we can see here, and also the surfaces parallel to the drawing uh, or the glass in this case. 